everyone. This is Rebecca from Datastax. I'm back again this week with another example. The example I'm going to walk you through today is going to demonstrate how to ingest Avro records from Kafka into Datastax Enterprise. And we're going to be doing this using the Datastax Apache Kafka connector. And we're also going to be taking the easy route with this example by using Docker and Docker Compose to set up our environment quickly so we don't have to spend tons of time uh, setting up Zookeeper and Kafka Brokers, Kafka Connect. So let's just have a look at the files included with this project. We have a Docker file that will build the image of Kafka Connect uh, with the Datastax Kafka Connector installed. Uh, we also have a Docker file that builds an image of a, for a producer. We have a Docker compose.yaml file. Uh, compose is a tool for defining and running multi-container Docker applications. And with Compose, you can use a YAML file to configure your application services. So then with a single command, you can basically create and start all the services from just this configuration. We also have the configuration for the connector itself. And then we have the Kafka Avro producer to write records to Kafka. And this uses the Avro serializer, the Kafka record key and record value. So once we've built our Docker images and used the Docker Compose to get our uh, containers running, there's going to be six Docker containers, um, uh, being Zookeeper, the Kafka Broker, Kafka Connect, Confluent Schema Registry, Datastax Enterprise, and then the Producer. Uh, these are all going to be using the same Docker network. So once we write all these uh, records to Kafka from the Avro Kafka producer, the Datastax Kafka connector will be started and all those records will be streamed into Datastax Enterprise from Kafka and those records will be written into a table. So in terms of prerequisites, there isn't a whole lot we need to do. Um, since we're using Docker, it makes it pretty easy. Um, so you're going to need Docker and Docker Compose. I'm actually using um, Docker Desktop uh, for Mac, which actually covers both of these, so I'm good to go. Um, before we get started, uh, just in case you don't know what Avro is, uh, Avro is a row-based storage format, and it's widely used as a serialization platform. So Avro stores the data definition or schema in JSON format, which makes it really easy to read and interpret by any program. And the data itself is stored in binary format, which makes it really compact and efficient. So let's get started here. First, I'm just going to clone down this repo. Just have a look inside there. Notice we have a, a couple of Docker files we mentioned earlier, the configuration for the connector, producer, it's like a schema.cql file, and the docker compose.yaml file. So we've already looked at the directory a bit there. Now let's build the Kafka connector image from the Docker file. Some of this takes a little while, so I'm just going to speed up the video through the, uh, the longer parts of this. Okay, looks like it's done. Also, let's build the Avro Jab producer image from its Docker file. Wow, that was a lot. Okay, so finally we're going to use Docker Compose to get all our containers up and running. Just, just have a look at the docker compose.yaml file for a second. Okay, so you can see the different containers that we're going to be starting up. 
Um, here we have our zookeeper, Kafka broker, the Confluence schema registry. Also Kafka connect with uh, the configuration. And Datastax Enterprise, and finally the Kafka producer. All right, so let's just run that docker compose up command. See that it's starting up Zookeeper there. And Kafka is the Confluence Schema Registry. And Datastax Enterprise. Okay, so it looks like we're ready to go. Looks like we have all the containers that we needed. So let's just have a look at what we do next. So now it looks like we're gonna be setting up um, the flow of the data from Kafka to DSE. So first we're gonna create our Kafka topic. If you're familiar with Kafka, you'll know what that is. So on our Kafka broker container, we're just going to start a bash session. And from there, we are going to create this Avro stream topic. So it looks like up next from our uh, DSE container, we're going to be starting CQLSH. So just exit from that container and Start CQLSH in our DSC container. Okay, so it says start the CQL shell and then we need to copy and paste the contents of schema.cql into CQLSH. So let's just open that file and take a look. So I'm just going to grab the contents here. Okay. So there is our schema. Okay, so we have our schema in place. So now we're going to run our Kafka producer. So so open a bash session in our producer container and we'll use maven to run compile and run the producer Oh, by the way, this is supposed to write a, a thousand records to Kafka. I believe. Yes, write a thousand records to Kafka using the Apple Java producer. It's still going there. Okay, looks like that's finished. 
So the next step is we need to start the DataSex Kafka connector and we're going to use the Kafka Connect REST API to do that. So let's just grab this command, this curl command. We'll leave that container. Okay, so we just started the connector. So hopefully our rows have been written to our Datastax Enterprise instance. So we're just going to open up CQLSH on that container and have a look. So we're just going to grab a sample from the Avro UDT table. Uh, just 10 rows, just to see if this worked. Okay, it looks like this was a success. You can see all our data in there. This would have taken a lot more time to set up if we had just done this all from scratch. So you can see how useful Docker can really be for learning purposes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed walking through this example with me today. If you have any questions or feedback, please let us know. I'll see you next time.